I know, everyone wants to go on vacation right now, but instead bring the vacation to you. So that's why tonight we're making spaghetti squash mexicana with tropical avocado salsa fresca. And if that doesn't transport you, then I apologize. As always, all the ingredients that you need are listed below. Let's get started. All right, since we're making spaghetti squash, we're gonna bake this in the oven. So set your oven to 375, and we're gonna cut our squash. So, I know y'all are gonna yell at me for this, but the recipe specifically says to cut this widthwise across its waist. Everybody else online seems to do it lengthwise, but whatever. Now you need a three pound-ish one. This one's a little bit heavier than that, so we might use some of the other leftover spaghetti squash for other stuff. All right, we're gonna scoop out these seeds. All right, so we're gonna take a baking dish, put about an inch of water in it, and we're gonna stick our squash cut side down. All right, we're gonna bake this for 45 minutes or until the skin is nice and pierceable. All right, now while this is baking, we're gonna start on our salsa because we want it to chill for a decent amount of time. So let's grab some pineapple or mango or papaya, whatever you got. Grab some tomato, a lime, and an avocado, along with some cilantro. Now we're gonna chop everything into half inch chunks. Gonna give this a good toss. And then we're gonna stick it in the fridge till we're ready for it. All right, now we're gonna start on our bean mixture. But first, let's prep some of our veggies. You need a medium yellow onion, two jalapenos, three garlic cloves, and some crushed coriander seeds. And we're gonna cut all of these into a small dice and Mince the garlic. All right, it's been 45 minutes. Let's check the squash. I think we're about done. So one thing I did forget to do was pierce the skin a few times to let, you know, it cook a little bit more evenly and let it, you know, steam escape a little bit. But it, nothing exploded, so we're good. It's usually the best rule to have in the kitchen. As long as nothing explodes, everything's fine. Fun fact! Spaghetti squash is a winter squash and is much less starchy and more vegetable-y than its cousins pumpkin, butternut, and acorn, which makes it a great low-calorie veggie. Squash is also a great source of vitamins A, B, and C, and nine minerals, including manganese, which are great for bone health, and it also contains omega-3 and omega-6 fats. So ditch the fish and shred that squash. All right, so we're just gonna let this cool by itself for about 10 minutes, or as long as it takes us to start on this bean mixture. We're gonna put our skillet over medium high heat. We're gonna throw our oil in, and in goes our onion and jalapeno for about five minutes. All right, now we're gonna add the garlic and the coriander, and we're gonna saute this for two more minutes. All right, go ahead and grab a half a cup of wine because that makes everything better. Yes, you want a red wine. And we're gonna add our remaining spices, our salt, cumin, cinnamon, and chili powder, along with our wine. And we're gonna raise the heat and boil this for about two minutes. Now you wanna stir this often. All right, in the meantime, whoop, that's still really hot. We're gonna take these out, let them cool on this board. 
I am very excited to try this because it smells quite interesting, delicious, and rich. All right, we're now gonna lower the heat and add our corn, our black beans, and our hot sauce. We're gonna cook this for about five to seven more minutes. We want our wine to have reduced quite a bit, which it pretty much already has, so we're just gonna heat this through at this point. In the meantime, let's work on shredding our squash. All right, still a little hot, but we should be fine. I love how just using a spoon shreds it into spaghetti. I love it. It's ingenious. All right, let's add our spaghetti squash, give it a good toss, and we're ready to eat. Let's try it. All right, so I'm gonna try this without the tropical fresca salsa on top. Hmm, spaghetti squash is nice and mellow. This is really good. It's a tad spicy, which I like. I'm gonna try some more of this salsa on top. So play around with the fruit in your salsa a little bit. The pineapple is good with this. It might be a little too sweet for my taste, I know mango tends to be a little less sweet, so maybe mango would be a good uh, addition to this instead of pineapple, but it's good. It's a nice topping uh, for this. The avocado and the tomato work really well with this, especially the avocado, nice and creamy. You know, it's a healthier version of kind of like a pasta dish, and I like it. So the salsa, you know, it's a salsa fresca, so it's a little bit different than your traditional salsa that you might be used to, so this is a nice little addition to this. You could probably eat this on the side, maybe chop these up a little bit smaller, and you could even eat this with, you know, chips if you like a sweet salsa. Either way, it's good. It's nice and fresh. All right, y'all. I hope you liked what you saw today. If you did, hit a thumbs up. I would love you for it. Make sure to subscribe and comment and share and all that good stuff. I will see you all next time. So ditch the fish and shred that squash. Hmm, spaghetti squash, spaghetti. <laughs>